Luna 2005-30 S0 installation video. Tools. Unpacking. Unpack and check. Installing the battery. The battery can be floor mounted or wall mounted. This video uses the floor mounted installation as an example. Installation space. Use a level to check the levelness of the floor support. Mark the positions for drilling holes based on the floor support and marking off template. Drill holes by using a hammer drill. Install expansion bolts. Align the first battery expansion module with the floor support. Install the connecting pieces on both sides and tighten the screws. Secure the modules to the wall. Internal electrical connections of the battery. Install internal PE cables. Connect the ground points of the modules one by one and secure the PE cables using ground screws. Remove the ejecta lever delivered with the equipment. Remove the waterproof covers from the DC terminals using a removal wrench. Insert the internal positive and negative DC connectors into the positive and negative battery cascading terminals. Connect internal signal cables. When connecting signal cables between the power control module and battery expansion modules, install the terminals that connect two communications cables first. Then install the terminals that connect one communications cable. To remove the cables, reverse the above procedure. Remove the locking caps and waterproof rubber plugs from the shell of the communications terminals. Remove the waterproof covers from the communications terminals of the battery expansion modules. Connect signal cables between battery expansion modules in sequence. Install the waterproof rubber plug and tighten the locking cap. Connect the communications cable to the power control module and battery expansion module in sequence. Install the waterproof rubber plugs in sequence. Tighten the locking caps and secure the signal cables using cable clips.
External electrical connections of the battery Cable preparation Connect P cables Prepare DC input power cables Connect the positive metal terminal to the positive cable Crimp the terminal using a crimping tool Connect the positive cable to the positive connector Tighten the nut using an open end wrench Remove the waterproof covers from the DC terminals. Connect the DC input power cables. Connect the signal cables. Remove the shell of the battery signal terminal. Connect the inverter communications terminal. Connect the signal cables. Insert the terminal based on the silk screen number. Install the shell of the signal terminal. Install the waterproof rubber plug and tighten the locking cap. Install battery cables for the inverter. Connect the communications terminal to the inverter. Connect the communications terminals for cascaded batteries. Insert the terminal based on the silk screen number. Install the terminal shell and waterproof rubber plug, and tighten the locking cap. Connect DC input power cables for cascaded batteries. Verifying the installation. Check the positions of the buckles on the shell. Place the protective cover close to the edge of the module. 
Move the cover outwards for a short distance and align the buckles. Push the cover inwards. Tighten the screws. Verifying the installation. If the indicators are both steady green, the battery is running. If the indicators are both blinking green slowly, the battery is in standby mode. Check that the signal cables are S485 positive, RS485 negative. Between the inverter and the battery are correctly installed. If the indicators are both off, the battery is in hibernation mode. Check that the signal cables EN positive, EN negative. Between the inverter and the battery are correctly installed. If the indicator is green, it specifies the battery level. Each bar indicates 10%. Log in to the Fusion Solar APP using the installer's account. Tap quick settings on the home screen. Add a battery through device discovery. And set the working mode. By default. The battery working mode is set to maximum self-consumption mode. Tap the question mark icon to view the detailed settings and set the working mode. On the home screen, choose power adjustment, battery control, to set the battery parameters and working mode. Choose settings, feature parameters, and enable off-grid mode. The grid tightened off grid ESS uses the backup box to switch the grid connection status of the inverter. When the grid fails, primary loads are powered in backup mode. After the grid recovers, the system automatically switches back to the grid tied mode. Replacing a fuse. When the inverter is faulty, there is a high probability that the battery fuse is damaged. Check whether the fuse is damaged or open-circuited, and replace the fuse if necessary. After powering off the connected inverter, turn off the DC switch for the battery.